Yeah. This is a pretty interesting equation. 2 to the power of x plus x is equal to 4. How do we solve for x? Solution. 2 to the power of x plus x equals to 4. Let's transfer this guy to the right side. So we're going to have 2 to the power of x equals to negative x plus 4. Now, let's divide both sides by 2 to the power of x. So we're going to have 2 to the power of x over 2 to the power of x equals to negative x plus 4 over 2 to the power of x. Clearly, this guy cancel each other. So we have 1 equals to negative x plus 4 over 2 to the power of x. This implies that 1 is equals to negative x plus 4. Suppose we want 2 to the power of x to be at the numerator, that will become 2 to the power of negative x. We can put this in brackets. Let's proceed further. Now, to make this power to be in form of this coefficient, what do you think we should do? Let's simply multiply both sides by 2 to the power of 4. So we're going to have 2 to the power of 4 times 1 equals to negative x plus 4 times this guy 2 to the power of negative x times 2 to the power of 4 nothing has changed we just multiply both sides by 2 to the power of 4 let's proceed further this implies that 2 to the power of 4 times 1 that is simply 2 to the power of 4 equals to negative x plus 4 times by lots of indices we have the same base so this guy becomes 2 to the power of negative x plus 4. Let's proceed further. What is 2 to the power of 4? That is simply 16 equals to negative x plus 4 times 2 to the power of negative x plus 4. Don't forget that we can write this to as e to the power of ln 2. Take note of this. So from here, we're going to have 16 equals to negative x plus 4 times what? We now replace these two with this guy. e to the power of ln 2 times this guy, negative x plus 4. To make this coefficient to be of this form, what do you think we should do? So let's just multiply both sides by ln 2. So we're going to have ln 2 times 16 equals to ln 2, let's put in brackets, times negative x plus 4 times all this guy, e to the power of ln 2 times negative x plus 4. In this stage, we can now recall the lambda w function. It says that w of a times e to the power of a is equals to a. You should remember this. So, let us take the lambda w function of both sides. That will be w of ln 2, let's put in brackets, times 16. We can use square bracket to isolate this. Equals to w of this old guy, ln 2 times negative x plus 4 times e to the power of ln 2 times negative x plus 4. Close the bracket. So now, applying this lambda w function formula, you observe that this guy is simply a, this power also is simply a. This right hand side now will now become what? That is ln 2 times negative x plus 4 equals to this left hand side w of ln 2 let put in bracket times 16 this is square bracket. So let's proceed further. To make x the subject of the formula, 
we can divide both sides by lane 2. So we're going to have lane 2 times negative x plus 4 all over lane 2 equals to w of lane 2 times 16 all over lane 2. Clearly, this guy takes care of each other. So we are left with negative x plus 4 equals to this right hand side w of 16 times lane 2 that is 16 lane 2 all over lane 2. Writing this expression we have x equals to 4 minus w of 16 lane 2 over lane 2. So this is the required value of x. That's it. Thanks for watching.